Welcome to Sligo Church. live or you found us online we thank you for being a part of our worship today
Good evening, everyone. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Please bow your heads and close your eyes for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us to this point in time today. Over the past four years, with your loving guidance, we've blossomed into amazing men and women, and now we are going off onto our separate ways. Because of, your wonderful, because of our wonderful teachers and staff, we've been prepared physically, mentally, and most importantly, spiritually for the journey that you have paved for us, Lord. We thank you for guiding us and helping us make it this far. I ask that you bless each and every student in the class of 2019. I thank you again on behalf of the class of 2019 for helping us make it here today. We love you, Lord, and let the class of 2019 say, Amen. Amen. Welcome to the mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, and the many friends here tonight. We, um, the class of 2019, would like to say good evening and welcome to the first service of our graduation weekend. This weekend is a time for us to celebrate all the hard work that we have put in over these last four years. This consecration service, for sure, is one of the moments that a lot of us have looked forward to since the beginning of our freshman year. We hope that you enjoy this program as well as the rest of this weekend. Thank you. Scripture for this evening will be taken from Jeremiah 29 11 and Philippians 4 13. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And I can, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. May the Lord add a rich blessing to his reading of the word. Good evening, parents. Good evening, family and friends. Good evening, faculty and staff. And good evening to the class, to the illustrious class of 2019. My name is Asia Rigby, and I have had the privilege of serving as class pastor for the 2018-2019 school year. We can all attest to the many challenges, obstacles, tests, and trials we have endured during our senior year. There were many times we had to call on God to give us strength to push through the year, we had to call on him for motivation, to continue doing our best, and for guidance to steer us in the right direction and make the best decisions, even if that decision was not easy. Reflecting back on the chapel messages throughout the year, Chaplain Love Day allowed us to hone into every aspect of our lives, speaking on important topics most of our peers just don't talk about. She spoke on topics like Jesus culture or yours, which required our participation to help sort scenarios that reflected Jesus' culture or the world's. She spoke on health topics like eating right, sleep, your body, and even brought awareness to mental health, like anxiety and fear, depression, and suicide. She also spoke about the various forms of media, how it affects our daily lives. We also learned how to manage our various relationships, how we deal with our friendships, our family and romantic relationships. These chapels gave us invaluable life lessons we will need in the next chapter of our lives. Now, let's take a moment and ponder on the next chapter of our lives. We are all excited to become young adults and come from under our parents' wings, to chart our own course and direct our own ships, to be powerful. But we should remember that with great power comes great responsibility. We will be faced with challenges harder than we can imagine, bigger obstacles and trickier tests and trials. 
We cannot tell our own future or know exactly what is ahead of us because life is a mystery and we are just merely figuring it out as we go. During this year, there was a lot of things we didn't know or weren't sure of, like not knowing exactly where you wanted to go to college, not knowing if the college you wanted to go to was right for you, unsure of what you wanted to study when you got there, or even what you wanted to do as a career. Even though, even now you still may have a lot of, I don't know, or I'm not sure of this or that. And be sure that later on there will be even more of those. But that's okay, because during our time here at Tacoma Academy, we have been given tools to help us during the journey. Trust and, and believe in what we have learned. We are equipped, we are capable, and we are ready. God has each of our lives planned out for us. In Jeremiah 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. See, God is here to help us and guide us whenever we are stuck or whenever we need clarity in our lives. As we move forward, know that the devil will be very busy trying to steer us off our paths. He, know that there, he knows that there will be important decisions we will have to make. He knows we will be away from our parents and in an environment with less structure. He will try his hardest to take control over our lives and we cannot give him that power. The legendary Nipsey Hussle once said, my thing is, I don't give no person that much power over my path that I'm walking. Not one person can make or break what I'm doing except me or God. Don't let anyone take over your life because while life is a mystery and there will be clues and tricks in our way to lure us away from God, we must ask God to help us discern right from wrong. We must surround ourselves with, with like-minded individuals who inspire us and want us to succeed. We also must stay true to who we are because even though you may be unsure of a lot of things coming your way, be sure of this. You are a child of God. Stick with him, and there will be no limits to how far you will go and how much you will grow. Can the class of 2019 recite with me Philippians 4, verse 13? And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you. How do I say goodbye to what we had? <laughs> the good times that made us laugh outweighed the bad. I thought we'd get to see forever, but forever has blown away. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. A -A -A. <laughs> well, here we go, another graduating class, another consecration, another principal's blessing, another time to lament over the good and the bad, another time to wish my students farewell and ask that you remember your alma mater as you move forward through life, attend college, start careers, get jobs, get married, have children. Sorry, I'm probably moving a bit too fast in my pronouncements, but I see how fast this thing truly goes. You see, all that the parents and teachers did was to shut our eyes, or rather we blinked, and day one became day 420, and here we sit congratulating another class, the class of 2019. According to Quora.com, a real blink of an eye takes 300 to 400 milliseconds. Since there's 1,000 milliseconds in each second, a blink of an eye takes around one-third of a second. Just think, in a blink of an eye, you grew in stature and wisdom and in favor. 
In the blink of an eye, you've embodied the mission of Tacoma Academy. Academics, mission, and heavenly attainment. In the blink of an eye, you've been accepted to colleges, universities, and programs, received scholarships, awards, and notoriety. In the blink of an eye, you have become my favorite TA class of all of 2019. And now you are ready to take on the world and to move to the next phase of your lives. I have been blessed to travel all over the world with several of you. I've cried with you, I've laughed with you, I've been serious with you, and I've joked with you over the past one to four years. There is something rather special about this class. You are smart, you are kind, and you are most definitely important. I know that you are smart because of your GPAs, your ACT and your SAT scores, acceptances to colleges and scholarship totals. You have options. What you have done keeps Tacoma Academy on the map. Achievers graduate from Tacoma Academy, and you are following suit with this legacy. Your kindness is reflected in the love that you have for each other. Whether classmates started in 2015 or entered somewhere along the way, you have shown kindness, concern, compassion for each other your teachers, and those you will never meet through how you have served your community. You have kindness and love for me. Well, that's what I interpret it as. There is not one time that I have been able to touch the front door of Tacoma Academy without one of you asking me, where am I going? Or when will I be back? Or giving me a sigh that equates to, are you going over to TA Prep again? You are important because your needs, wants, and desires are thought of first by your parents and those who love you the most. You are important because for the past one to four years, depending on when you entered Tacoma Academy, somewhere between $14,000 to $60,000 has been spent on your education. You are important because the God of the universe emptied out heaven and sending his son to die on a cruel cross for your salvation. Oh, how he loves you, values you, and you are very important to him. At this time, I would like to pray for the class of 2019. A prayer of blessings, continued success, as you hold your hand in his hand and let him lead and guide you. I would like for the class of 2019 to stand. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly bow before you this evening, first asking that you will forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, I thank you for the students of the class of 2019. They have been a blessing to the TA campus, and for this we are grateful. Lord, we ask as they leave the campus of Tacoma Academy that you continue to bless them in all of their endeavors. Bless them in their going out and their coming in. Help them to make wise decisions. Remind them of their upbringing and who they belong to. At this time, I want to lift lift up each student individually. Rennie, Winnea, Nicholas, Takara, Talani, Robbie, Miles, Darren, Yasmin, 
Rebecca, Ian, Ellen, Jordan, Dainty, Raquela, Anthony, Santos, Alan, Tori, Sean, Imani, Dewan, Zephy, Teresa, Liu, Stefan, Bradley, Ibrahim, Brandon, Brianna, Asia Rigby, Henderson, Kelly, Simeon, Joshua, Jolie, Makai, Olivia, Medina, Abrel, Asia Watson, Catherine. Please bless this class and keep them according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. At this time, we would like to present the class of 2019 with Bibles that are engraved with your names. The teachers will come over and present Bibles to you. This evening, we would like to pay tributes to our families that have assisted us on our journey. We love and appreciate you for all that you have done in our lives. Thank you is not enough. Please stand when you see your senior on the screen. Hey, Mom, Chad. Thanks for being there for me and helping me to become a better person, even when I was doing really bad stuff. Thanks for still believing in me. And I hope I can make you proud. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Lily. Uh, your baby's finally graduating high school. There's no way I can list everything you've done that I'm grateful for, but I've taken the liberty to at least try. So, Daddy, thank you for all the lunch money you gave me. Thank you for all the rides you gave me. Thank you for scolding me when I forgot an important deadline. Uh, Mommy, thank you for waking me up every morning and driving me to school even though you did not like it. Um, thank you for reminding me to go to bed before I crash on the couch. Uh, Lily, thank you for distracting me so I could take a break from work. 
Thank you for turning off the lights in my room when I crash from homework. Thank you for the huge sacrifices you made for me every day, everybody. Um, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for you. Thank you for working hard for me, even when I wasn't always grateful for it. And yeah, for making me who I am. So ain't nobody gonna love me as much as my family. Thank you, love you. Um, first, I would like to thank my brother. He's my day one. Uh, without you, I don't know where I'd be at right now. Uh, I want to thank my parents for providing for me and the support you've given me throughout my whole entire life. I want to thank my grandparents for being there whenever I really needed you, to call you whenever I needed. I want to thank my cousins, uncles, and aunts because you've always been there for me also. One. Hey mom, dad, family. I just wanted to say thank you guys for letting me grow my own wings, for letting me fly, catching me when I fall, for letting me stand when I can't and assuring me I can fly again. I soared even higher simply because you both believed in me. I'm so blessed to have you guys with support, inspiration, and drive. I wouldn't be the same person I am today. And I'll always be your little girl and I'll miss you guys very much. You too, Monty. Hey guys, um, I just want to thank you guys for everything you've done for me. Um, I want to start by thanking you dad for teaching me how to drive stick. That was extremely challenging and we did it after over a year, but I finally got my license. So I want to thank you for that. And mom, I want to thank you for volunteering to take me anywhere that I needed to go, running me around last minute to get prepared for things that I procrastinated to get ready for. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me through all of my school endeavors and sports and so forth. And I love you guys. Hey, they told me I had 45 seconds to paint the two greatest people on earth. But how could I do that 45 seconds? especially since I just used 10. The truth is, I can't. You guys have been the greatest parents ever. Gone to all my games, supported me, been a lot of us in the crowds, helped me through college applications, everything like that. You've been the perfect example of parents and Christians I could ever ask for. I just can't thank you enough. And also to my sister Alexis for being by my side, even when she wasn't, while she was in California. But I love you too, and I really hope we could have a good time sharing our graduation together. Once again, thank you for all you guys have done, and I love you. Hello, hi, my parents. I want to say thank you to my parents. I want to say thank you to my grandparents, my aunts and uncles, you know, for helping me get through through high school. It's been a struggle, but we're here on top. Um, I also want to say thank you to my brothers because even even when I was stressed out and struggling, they came and they helped and supported me. Uh, I also want to say uh, to my teammates on the soccer field, I want you guys to keep winning championships. Keep leaving a legacy of greatness. There's only more is yet to come. Dear mom and dad, thank you so much for being my biggest support system throughout the last 17, almost 18 years of my life. You guys have been there, supported me through all my activities and everything else. Also, thank you for sacrificing a lot of your time because I know you guys are busy and also your money because I know it's not cheap to pay for Christian education. Also, I want to thank you guys for introducing me to Jesus at a very young age because I now have a strong relationship with the Lord. Thank you. Hi, 
your mom and dad. Um, I just wanted to say how much I am thankful for you guys. I wanted to say that words cannot express how much I loved you and how much I am thankful for the effort that you put in to getting me through these past four years, especially at TA. Um, I'm happy that our bond is stronger than ever and that you've helped me grow into a young lady and that you've taught me life lessons that I really needed to learn in my teenage years and that we're finally done. <laughs> I want to thank my mom and dad for always being there for me, for providing a Christian education for me um, since kindergarten. Um, and also I want to thank my little brother for being very supportive and always cheering me up with my bad days. I also want to thank God for providing me with the strength and the knowledge to be at Tacoma Academy for four years. Uh, dear mom and dad, thank you so much for all that you've done for me throughout the last couple of years. You guys have made a lot of sacrifices for me, and I appreciate that so much. I especially thank you for sending me to this great Christian school, and uh, I thank you so much for how much you've encouraged me over the last few years in all my endeavors, even if it was a bit outside of the box. You've always encouraged me to be a free thinker and to uh, work hard and to get my goals. Um, mom, thank you so much for always being there for me. When I called you at, on FaceTime at work, you always found time to talk to me. And dad, I want to thank you that I can add, I have you on speed dial. I can call you anytime I'm in an emergency or I need some help or some guidance. You're always there to talk with me. And uh, I'm so thankful that both of you guys are two people I can really consider my best friends. I can talk to about literally anything, and you guys are always there to support me. And also, I want to thank you so much to Jasmine, my sister. You're also always there for me, and I'm so thankful for all of you and all the help that you've given me. Hey mom, hey dad, thank you for everything you guys have done for me. Um, I'm really grateful that you guys have put me into Christian education for my whole entire life. And I know it's not easy, um, especially with the prices and everything, but you guys made it work and you guys worked jobs that you guys weren't even into just to support me and the rest of the family. And I just, I promise, you know, later on that I'll be successful and I'll make you guys proud. And I uh, just want to thank God for giving me one of the best parents I could ever ask for. And nakinap po lim taking kan on with hinanin katong tai zelang kalome. Hi. Thank you to my parents for being such wonderful parents. I do not know where I would be without you guys. Mom, thanks for always being my comforter, supporter, guider, provider, example, and friend. You are a go-getter, and I can only hope to eventually have the drive that you have. You have and continue to make sacrifices for me. I will always cherish our life experiences and funny moments. I can never express the love I have for you enough. I would like to thank my dad for always showing me love, support, fun, and guidance. Thank you, Dad, for all the life and spiritual lessons. And spiritual lessons, I appreciate it. Just thinking about you both makes me smile. Thanks to you guys, family and friends, I can truly say that I am happy. I do not take happiness for granted because I know that a lot of people in this world are not happy. I love you both very much. Dear Mama and Papa, first of all, I'd like to thank both of you for just everything you've done for me, not only in these past four years of high school, but the last like 17 years of my life. And I'm just so thankful because you guys have sacrificed so much just for me, for me to get a good education. And without all your life lessons that you've given me, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I'd also like to thank both of my siblings uh, for always supporting me and for just helping me make the right decisions in life. And um, 
I know that I'll be gone for college soon and I'm probably not gonna call that often but I just want to let you guys know that I'll always keep you guys in my heart no matter what and I love you guys so much thank you hi everyone uh, I would like to thank my mom, dad trick, my dad, my aunts, my uncles, my friends, my family friends, and everyone that's helped me throughout high school. I would like to thank I would like to thank my mom. She is the most hardest hardest working person I know. Thank you for the unconditional the unconditional love. And um and thank you for uh, showing me, teaching me my value and my worth. And I also want to give a shout out to my brother and sister. You guys are annoying, but I love you all dearly. And lastly, I would like to thank my friends' parents. You guys raised such wonderful people that I can call my friends. Um, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Um, I want to say thank you for everything you've done for me throughout this school year for keeping me focused, pushing me to do my best. Mom for waking me up every morning at six, even though I don't set my alarm. Dad for um, always being on my butt about doing all my schoolwork. And Tamadi for always telling me not to do anything stupid because I'm not stupid, I just, you know, we can do some dumb things. And to my grandparents for um, mom and dad thank you for everything that you have done for me and thank you for the love and affection you guys always gave me and for letting me attend to come academy it was a real honor coming here i i feel like i've grown spiritually and you see me all grown up already and i really appreciate you guys i love you guys so much and i want to thank my, my siblings too especially my sister even though we kind of fight but i know that she does it like for it can be good for me Mom and Dad, I just want to thank you so much for always pushing me to be better, for just making excellence that standard of achievement. I'd also like to thank, just most importantly, my mom for just showing me what a strong black woman can do in this world, which is anything if she puts her mind to it. Um, also my dad for always stressing education, more importantly a Christian education, recognizing that how the importance of putting me in an atmosphere that is focused towards kingdom building. Um, also, I'd like to thank my siblings for just setting such a bright path for me to follow. Honestly, if I end up half of what they are, I will be <laughs> straight in life. Um, thank you for your love, your care, and your prayers. I uh, love you all. I would like to thank my mom and my dad for supporting me and bringing me uh, throughout uh, high school. And I really appreciate it, so thank you guys. Dear Mom and Dad, I couldn't thank you guys enough for what you have done for my life. I will never take for granted how greatly I've been blessed to have you guys as parents. You sacrificed everything in order for me to have the best chance in life. Thank you for always being there for me and never giving up on me when I mess up. Thank you for everything that you do for me. I'll never be able to repay you unless I get rich. Love you. Thank you.
go. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for loving me, caring for me. You guys are literally my best friends and honestly my therapist. If I didn't have you, I don't honestly know where I would be. And I just want to say thank you so much to my brother. He's my best friend. We are like twins, even though we're not really twins. We're low-key twins. Um, and yeah, so I want to say thank you to everybody who's helped raise me and yeah. say thank you to my mom, my grandmother, my grandfather, my uncle for um, all the support, you know what I'm saying, making sure I get here, all the Ubers, you know, coming out to the games, and just um, making sure that I had a great four years here. Thank you for uh, making sure I went on all the trips on Gashan, you know, Nona, making sure I got to school, you know what I'm saying, staying on top of me on the grades and everything, you too, mom, and pops, you know, calling me every day, telling me when I raised my grades or when they were too low, you know what I'm saying. Appreciate it. Hey mom, I really can't express how grateful I am to you in a video under 45 seconds, but I do want you to know your sacrifices weren't in vain. You've always been my greatest advocate and my best friend, and the advice you've given me will remain in my heart for the rest of my life. Thank you for always pushing me to be the greatest I can be and never letting me settle for mediocrity. Thank you for showing me the love of Christ and how to have a stronger relationship with him. You are indeed my greatest gift. XOXO, your only child. Hey mom, hey dad, thank you for letting me come to this school and let me pursue my dreams. Dear mom and dad, I am so lucky. Sometimes it gets overbearing. There have been so many times where I've asked myself if there's a reason I'm so blessed. Sometimes I feel guilty because of all the people I know that have family issues or come from broken homes. See, I know that their home environment or family history can impact the decisions they make and how hard their life is. Yet here I am with no emotional burden and never a reason to worry, even though I know now that there have been many reasons to be worried. Mom, you worked night shifts for 15 years so I could go to private school my entire life. You wanted the best for me. You wanted that I never be in harm's way. You made the sacrifice for my comfort and peace of mind. Dad, you worked a job that requires intensive labor just so you could provide. You gave up your sleep, your health, your money, your life. God is good and he's helped the both of you to do it. But I can't, but I cannot thank you for what you've given. I cannot thank you enough for what you've given me. It will take the rest of my life to repay you. I hope that in my life and in that of my future family, I can honor God and the two of you so that you can be proud. I pray God blesses me just enough for me to be able to give you and our family a life of ease and luxury. I still don't deserve any of what you do for me and truthfully, I never will since I don't think I can match a mother and father's love. But I hope, I really hope that God blesses me with the best of efforts. Mom, Dad, we made it, man. Just want to thank you a lot. 
for you know sacrificing and me putting you through a lot of stress um just making sure i'm good making sure i go to the next level i appreciate you so much all your love and care i could never like ask for a different set of parents that would love me and support me like y'all do and i'd just like to thank my sister as well because she's always been down for me my day one my ride or die she always cares about me and i appreciate her as well i just want to say thank you and great things are going to keep on coming So, mom and dad, thank you for putting me through Adventist education and for shaping me for who I am today. Thank you for pushing me to do better and better each day and for always sticking with me at my lowest points and even at my highest. Thank you for never letting me slack off and for always being on my case for everything. Also, shout out to my sister because she was, she's been through, with, through it all with me. She's also pushed me even farther than what my parents have pushed me because she wants me to succeed the most. And thank you for all you guys for making sure that I put God number one in my life. Thank you. Love you guys. Um, I would like to thank my parents for all the efforts they put in. The, all the sacrifices they, you know what I'm saying, they're doing for me, all the energy they're putting in. Because, like, without my parents, I wouldn't be where I am at right now, you know what I'm saying? They're doing all of that for me to be the best. So, hopefully, I'll attempt to their request and I'll be the number one, whatever I want to do. Et je remercie, encore une fois, je remercie mes parents. Merci, papa, merci, maman, pour tous les efforts et tous les sacrifices que vous faites pour moi. J'apprécie. Mom, Dad, Ms. Gwen, you all supported me all the way through all my life. Whenever I had a difficulty with my schoolwork, you would help me. Whenever I need some advice, you were there to tell me what to do. Mom, you're a true warrior. You always go out your way to complete your goal, and I appreciate that from you. You've always given me a helping hand, no matter how irritated or tired you are. Dad, thank you for giving me such, so many pointers on being a strong man and how to treat a lady. Ms. Gwen, thank you for sharing your advice and the wisdom that you have to offer. From cooking ideas to scholarships and from about, you know, the ladies. I love you all so much and I couldn't have asked for anything more. To my loving mother, she has done everything for me. She is my rock, she's my world. I wouldn't be here without her as she's my only parent and because of her I wouldn't be here graduating. I wouldn't hear getting getting a Christian education. So I want to thank you mother so much. I love you with all of my heart. You are a wonderful person and I can't wait to make you proud with college and being a doctor. Hey mom and dad, thank you for so much you have provided for me over the years and sacrificed for me and given me more than what I could ask for. Thank you to my great brother Joshua for always teaching me how to be tough and uh, going for what I want. Thank you to grandma for always being that sweet, kind spirit I can go to and talk to anytime. And thank you to grandma Kate for being that strong Christian woman that I can to also. Thank you to everybody else for all the love and support you have given me over the years and the advice and I love you guys so much.
Hey y'all, um, I wanted to thank you guys, my mom and dad, for everything you guys have done for me these past, uh, well, 18 years of my life, uh, but more specifically, these last four years of um, high school. I just want to thank my mom, especially for um, waking me up every day so I can get to school, 6.50 every day, always coming to my room, screaming, turn on the light, me lunch to pick me up from school. My game. Really, also want to thank you for supporting me and everything. Um, become a, becoming a man and that, um, what I want to do in life that he's that I do and you know thank you guys hey family <laughs> oh they're gonna jump so hard when they hear this um Thank you for everything you've done for me, for always being there, supporting me. I know I've been a pain for the past couple of years, my teen years and everything. But especially to my parents and my brothers, they've always been there no matter what. And yeah, thank you. I'm finally graduating. <laughs> I would like to thank my mom and my dad for uh, the guidance and support and the help throughout this journey. Um, I'd like to thank my aunts and uncles who have been there for me especially. I'd like to thank uh, my cousins and other family members. I'd like to thank uh, any friends, parents and that have helped me get to school. Uh, I know it was like rough. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, my friends who have helped me out and uh, been there for me and uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Thor and the administration and all the faculty. They've been, all been there for me and they've uh, been real good and nice and they've helped me out and uh, yeah. Hey mom, this video is dedicated to you. I just want to say um, thank you for everything that you've done for me. Um, thank you for sticking with me throughout the high school year. You sacrificed a lot. Of, you sacrificed a lot of things for me and for the family. So I just want to say I love you, and I'll see you soon. Dear Jocelyn and Jonathan Smith, aka Mom and Dad, I want to thank you for all that you have done for me and I want to thank you for providing for me. Thank you for pushing me to be my very best and thank you for making me the person I am today. You guys have sacrificed so much and been through so much with me, from helping me with my assignments in high school to helping me get into college. I'm on to my next chapter now and I know that you guys will still be there by my side. I love you guys. You two are amazing human beings, and I'm truly grateful for all the time you have invested into my life. Throughout my life, you two have always provided for me when you could. I appreciate all the times we spent up late at night helping me finish up homework assignments that I didn't understand, and helping me complete numerous projects. Through the good and bad times, you two have always given me good advice to guide me onto a good path. Thank you for demonstrating to me how to become a successful adult. And I'm extremely gracious that you two are my parents. Hey y'all, 
um, I want to thank you guys for helping me throughout these years. Thank you, Aunt Coletta. Thank you, Uncle Elliot. Thank you to my cousins, to Miss Evelyn. And I'd like to thank um, the Rileys as well for supporting me these last few years. Your support has been very much appreciated. Um, I would like to thank my dad um, for sending me to this school and just supporting me throughout all four years of my high school. Um, I love you. Bye. Hey mom and dad, I, I would just like to say thank you for getting me to this point. If, if it wasn't for all your hard work and dedication and, and, t and teaching me that hard work really pays off, I wouldn't be able to graduate. And i just like to let y'all know that I really do appreciate everything that you've done for me. I'm done! <laughs> First of all, I would like to give time back to the people who've been giving me opportunities uh, here in TA, the Tacoma, Cardem family. Uh, I'm so thankful you guys gave me the opportunity to be able to spend my senior year here in, uh, in TA. Uh, both painful, Ms. Sora uh, and Mr. Brick, thank you so much for the opportunity you guys given to me. And I, uh, I'm so grateful. And my family back home, they give you appreciation too. I just want to say thank you so much for the last time you guys uh, gave me in high school here. So, and um, thanks also to my teachers, my coaches, my staff. Uh, thank you so much for your help. To the Brown family, um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad that you guys been with me and you guys helping me and. Been, you've, been, you've been accompanying me in five months. Not only that, you've been in the whole year taking care of me. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Brown, uh, Ms. Sandy. Thank you so much for taking care of me in the house. Also brought me to school all the time, picked me up. Dr. Brown, thank you for your help. You also take me to practice, take me to some colleges to go visit. Thank you so much. Tyler, Jordan, uh, uh, Mike, Mel, thank you so much for being uh, my, my other siblings. Thank you so much. I, I don't have enough word to say, but I just want to say thank you so much and God bless you. Mom and Dad, you both have supported me, loved me, and given me many opportunities that you thought would further me along in life. And for that, I greatly appreciate. You guys have provided me with the tools that I need to survive in life so that when I am well into college and beyond, I will be well prepared for any challenges that may come. I want to thank you both for all the good times and even the bad times that we have experienced together. I love you both so much, and I'm grateful for the experiences I have received. Thank you. To my amazing parents, I could go on and on about everything you've done for me over these past four years. But to sum it all up, thank you for everything that you've done for me during my high school years, from coming to my volleyball games, to driving me to different churches every weekend for choir performances, to attending everything. Um, thank you so much for just putting in the time and effort, putting in the money so that me and Christina could go to private schools for these uh, for this long. Um, I just want to thank mom. Um, thank you for just pushing me to do my best and always like telling your friends about me when I was doing something good. Dad, thank you for letting me drive the car and giving me money every day for lunch. Um, just thank you to the both of you. I can't express it enough how much I love you guys. And thank you, Christina, even though you didn't really have an option to come to my stuff. Thank you for being there and supporting me always. I love you guys.
Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Good evening. Um, today, I'll be playing a song titled Music Box by Jordan Morrison. At this time, we pay tribute to our teachers who gave us knowledge of things we didn't know before, who transformed us to become more knowledgeable people, 
who shaped us and molded us to become better models of the future. Thank you. Mrs. El Fage, thank you for being our right-hand man in school, helping us with copies, answering phone calls, and always greeting us with warm smiles. We're sorry for never bringing you food when we went out for lunch. Mrs. Ramos, thank you for being so caring in all of our four years and for amazing trips to South Africa and Morocco. Ms. Wood, thank you for all your facts on history and making sure we were always up to date on what was happening in our world today so that we didn't know what to, so that we know what to do and what to look for as adults in the political world. Mr. Robinson, thank you for all your inside jokes and supporting choir on trips and also thank you for being a horrible person and spoiling Endgame for the majority of the student body. Mr. Gant, thank you for all your wise words and for bringing us all closer to Christ mentally, physically, and emotionally. Thank you also for putting sticky notes on Robinson's car when he spoiled Endgame in front of the whole school. <laughs> Ms. Brazil, thank you for being everyone's favorite auntie and for all of the, um, for all of the jokes and laughs that we have during class. Mr. Henry, thank you for all of your wise teachings that we would, that will reside in us as we part ways. Mr. Henley, thank you for all of your tips for college. Whatever trials and tribulations we've all been through, you've been there for us every step of the way, and thank you for having our back. Ms. Collins. Thank you for always being there for us when we needed you and always reminding me to make a difference every day. Ms. Mifumbu, thank you for being our light and joy and for giving us so much discipline on and off the stage. Although we don't say it as often as we are, we are extremely grateful for you and all of your hard work. Ms. Loveday, thank you for being our spiritual leader and for bringing us closer to Christ with every chapel. We are going to miss you and your wise words and insightful advice. Ms. Young. Miss <laughs> um, Young and Miss Beckett, uh, thank you for coming to my rescue last year and always leaving your door open if anybody wants to talk. Uh, Ms. Blackwell, thank you for your many lectures propelling us to be the best versions of ourselves. Mr. Holness, thank you for the random conversations and endless advice throughout the four years. Trey, I mean, <clears throat> Mr. Douglas, if you, if you know me, you know how hard it is for me to call him that. Uh, his role to come academy has been completely overlooked. He's not just a PE teacher or a softball coach. He's a life coach. If you take his class, I advise taking what he has said to you into consideration. Ms. Henry, thank you for being the glue that held Mr. Henry together so our workload wouldn't be even more unbearable. <laughs> Ms. Campbell, thank you for stepping into your position immediately and making a big impact because everybody knows you had large shoes to fill. DT, thank you for being the behind the scenes guy at TA. Without you, our school wouldn't run as <clears throat> smoothly as it does. Mr. Mason, thank you for trying your hardest to teach us how to be adults, especially this last year. You've made it your mission that we would not go out into this world and be completely ignorant. Ms. Camps, thank you for furthering our knowledge in Spanish and for always having a smile on your face. Thank you to, thank you to both of you for being our sponsors. Ms. Terry, thank you for being with us every step of the way and for being our favorite bus driver taking us to games, performances, and any other excursions we need to get to in a hurry. We are truly going to miss you, and we wish you the best. Ms. Gracia, thank you for being completely understanding, but also holding us accountable for our actions at TA. We will miss you both. Mr. Beckett, thank you for always reminding us of what TA outerwear is and isn't. We appreciate how laid back and chill you are, and we'll miss you. Ms. Thower, lastly, thank you for teaching us all the ladies. <laughs> Ms. Throat Thank you for teaching all the ladies that we are all flowers. 
Thank you also for supporting our class every step of the way. Supporting two schools isn't easy, but you make it look effortless, and we appreciate that. On behalf of the class of 2019, we thank you, all the faculty, and we may or may not have missed. We are also blessed for all your support in high school and look forward to life with all the skills you inqu we inquire from you. Thank you. Okay, before I pray, I would like to thank all you all, the family, friends, and supporters that came out tonight to celebrate with me and my class. So can you all please stand for the prayer? And guys, can you take off your caps? Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning and getting us here to Sligo. I want to thank you for giving us the gift of family and friends who we can count on. Thank you for putting people in our lives to encourage and keep things real with us. I ask that you continue to bless them and us. Please give us all safe traveling mercies and help us get a good night's rest so that we can come right back here tomorrow at 11. In Jesus' name, amen.